This is your boy Mad Dog. And this is the dude Moto Vlogs. And I guess if I can get this bike to go into gear, we're gonna climb this sand hill in here. Oh, that's some soft sand. The bike can hardly move through it. It's sinking, sinking through the sand like it's mud. It's weird. back here for like over an hour so I was kind of pissed but what are you gonna do I got it to work I think but hopefully it doesn't erase it or do whatever it did before I'm not going super fast through here there's, there's a lot of big roots across the trail I just hit one back there with the front wheel on it but you hit them pretty hard I don't want to get a flat tire pinch the, pinch the two. Anytime, I don't know if people are familiar, but you hit those big roots with the tires on these when you run them more fast. When you run the tires low, like I don't have 12 pounds of air in the tires, 11 to 12 pounds of air. And uh, when you do that, it's easy to pinch the, pinch the tube on the rim. You got flat tires. And it sucks because I'm way up in the middle of the woods. So. I don't want to do that. I'm taking a little easy because all these big roots. Are in or something? Oh, there's two of them. I don't know if those are grouse or partridges or what they were. like those stuff. Man, they say uh, motorcycles and four-wheelers tear up the ground. Look at what they do when they log it. This is five times worse than that I've ever seen a trail get from people riding motorcycles on. Huh? It makes it, you can't even ride a motorcycle on it. It's so rough. That's ridiculous. See, there's all their logging equipment down there. This is ridiculous. You can't even ride down this. It completely wrecked the trail. Yeah, see, you can't even go down it, so they got a tree across there. Idiot. Not the biggest fan drive for this kind of stuff. Yeah, look at these big holes where they got stuck and everything. Man, that's dangerous. That's ridiculous. I'm just gonna have to get out of here. You can't ride down the trail. I 
don't know if anyone's if people have seen these up close but see those steel stick so this thing here is a grapple it grabs the logs you see it's got a thing on there see it grabs it and takes the bark off see right there and see these things here will these teeth will grab the log and pull it through that so you can pull the logs up you see it's got a chainsaw there inside there and that cuts it to eight or ten foot lengths whatever yeah it's kind of cool cool machinery I doubt I'm supposed to be in here so that one's got a full load of logs on the back then they have those skid loaders that's just for pulling logs out of the out of the woods so then I load them on these trailers and pull them down the road to the sawmill but man when they do this it it totally you know the animals and everything that live in here it major major impact motorcycles and four-wheelers but you could clearly see trucks have been down it you can see trucks been down this you can see the truck prints I don't know maybe we'll go up there See, they cut this. This must have been a couple years ago at least because see there's always picker bushes in here. That's what happens, they cut all the trees like that. And if it's in the area where there's picker bushes, they spread them all around when they go in there and cut. Then the whole thing, then it gets sun, or you know, it used to be trees, so it used to be shade. But now it gets sun, so it just turns into a big picker fest. 